Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to Ocean Gate, how it works, Titan Submersible Submarine. And yeah, I guess it goes into pretty much how it was made because there's a lot of things going out about how crazy it is that they even allowed this to like carry people and as um, and how it should have just been like unmanned missions because they and i saw comments in my previous video about how even in um su submarines or submersibles i guess submarines that are like fully inspected and certified by whoever it is to go to those depths there's still like a four and five or one out of five chance or whatever to for it to go wrong and that's ones that are certified so for this one the chances are always there for it to go wrong and the chances were high and it did go wrong but um yeah we're gonna see i guess what it was made from i don't know if they've actually got all the full details but i assume there is because people have been talking about it and the company is now pretty well known so i mean for the wrong reasons but um yeah let's see just how flimsy i don't want to say flimsy because obviously it was built to be somewhat strong but to see how crazy it is to that they were actually able to bring people with them and just to do all this stuff but yeah let's check this out links also in the description to my patreon if you want to see some more of my, rea more of my reactions but let's just see what really really went on because uh, it's just crazy and how small it was it's such a small machine or submarine or whatever it's tiny the space for the people it's all just still so mind-blowing to me but yeah let's just check this out in this video we will be examining the engineering behind this submersible vehicle which is used primarily for exploring the wreckage of the Titanic and the scientific research for data collection. They got this... They got the animation done quick. Moving into the interior is the game controller that will be used for piloting the vessel. How the f... A game controller to... I can't get over that. I cannot get over that they use a game controller. I mean, maybe I know there's more to it than I know, but that is wild. A controller to... Like, this isn't a video game, man. This, this is real life. What the? Tilting Crazy. or pushing the stick like this results in the forward movement of the drone. We will also be looking at the step-by-step -step process of how this drone works and the various versions of what could have happened. Is it an implosions that occurred deep down in the ocean depth, which shattered the Titan vessel into five various parts or debris? So stay tuned and don't miss a beat. Ocean Gate Titan. This is not a submarine, but the Titan is a Cyclops-class manned submersible. But what's the difference between the two? The primary difference between a submersible and a submarine is that the submersible is launched from a mother vessel or home vessel. They are typically launched on a raft or platform, which is placed into the ocean, and ultimately descends via Oh, so it goes on the platform. Four electric thrusters, which helps it to reach speeds of around three knots. But a submarine can dive underwater without any external equipment and surface all through the process of buoyancy. These are the basic system that makes up the submersible. Number one, the mothership named the Polar Prince, which is actually an icebreaker. Number two, the ramp that transports the vessel up to a certain department. Number three, the Ocean Gate Titan itself. Let's look at its specification. The vessel has a length of 22 feet, 6.7 meters, which is pretty small considering it can go to great depths, while it has a breadth of around 9.2 feet or 2.8 meters. And it has a height of 8.3 feet or 2.5 meters. Comparing this to an average human will help us visualize how small it is. And there's five humans in here. Even better, let's compare this to a small SUV wow. to help us understand its dimension better. Interestingly, it can carry around five people, a pilot and four passengers who have to sit on the floor and have limited room to move around. Imagine sitting like this for eight hours. If someone asks the question, what if nature calls? Yes, there's a toilet on the submersible, but it is only separated from the rest of the capsule by a privacy curtain located at the front of the submarine. The interior of the vessel is pretty simple. You will have a joystick, which is actually a video game controller and two monitors to help steer the vessel. One is for the sonar, and the other one placed on the side is for steering the submersible. This is probably one of the basic deep diving submarine you will ever see. Let's move outside the submersible to understand the engineering behind it. 
These are the four electric thrusters that help steer the vessel. Two inner space thrusters are placed in a horizontal position as shown here, and two more are located on both sides of the vessel are placed in a vertical position. At the back is the electronics equipment and most probably contains oxygen and navigation system. It is an unmanned part of the vessel that also has the ability to even recycle some of the carbon dioxides and pump back the regenerated 50% oxygen into the cabin. See, that's what I mean. There's obviously some good, um, like, stuff in this. It's not like to say it's not, like, it's a, a terrible creation in all aspects, but, like, the safety, it's the safety side of things, right? Because they really seem like they skipped corners and, or is that the saying, or just... They just tried shortcutting it just to make it so they could travel it. And in reality, the safety compartment just wasn't there. Again, the engineering on the other side was obviously to a pretty high level or a very high level, but still. This is one of the main reasons the submersible vessel has a 96 hour oxygen is claimed by the company. Interestingly, this is the entrance made up of titanium and opens up just like this. This is the camera of the vessel, which can be viewed from one of the two monitors. At the front are four lights required for deep sea diving. With all this equipment, the submersible can go up to depths of 4,000 meters or 13,000 feet at a speed of 2.3 miles per hour or three knots. Now that we have established the basic functions, let's take a look at how this works. Step number one. Mothership, which is the Polar Prince, anchors at a particular spot where the Titanic shipwreck is located. Step number two. The ramp slowly disembarks from the mothership along with the Titan submersible. Step number three. It will slowly descend to a certain depth. Step number four. The small Titan submersible will disengage from the assigned platform. Step number So does the platform just stay in the ocean or does it float back to the top? I guess it just sinks, right? Five. Titan will slowly descend at a low speed of three or four knots. Step number six. The pilot will use the joysticks to pilot the vessel. This is how it works. Wow. Moving the joystick controller just like this will propel the vessel forward. Tilting the controller back will reverse the vessel with the help of the electric thrusters. If the pilot wants to turn left or right, he will just have to twist the controller and the effects will be as shown in the animations. And what happens if you it gets disconnected or it runs out of battery? Is it battery pad? I don't know, but can some controllers are. Or whatever, disconnects, you lose connection. That's going to happen. It's possible, you know? Like, having a controller, something not connected to the ship, be the thing that controls it is wild to me. On the left-hand side of the joystick is the down and up controller. Tilting the controls forward results in the downward descent of the vessel, and pushing the controllers down results in the upward movement of the vessel. Let's look at five scenarios through the animations of what might have happened to the Ocean Gate Titan submersible. Version number one. The primary objective of the submersible was for tourists to explore the Titanic shipwreck hovering over it an experience what only a few people were able to achieve. And while doing so, it could have been tangled in the wreckage of the Titanic. Version number two. The battery might have ceased since it requires the four electric propellers to operate them. Version number three. Due to the extreme pressure in the dark ocean's depth, the only glass present in the vessel might have cracked. Version number four, the submersible communicates with its mother ship using a sonar system, and it could have been damaged while traveling halfway towards its destinations. Since it does not have any navigation system, the vessel might not be able to steer away from danger. Oh, Version yeah. number five, we hope the drone would have resurfaced, but since it could only be opened from the exterior, this would have been an issue to communicate with the rescuers. But we believe according to reports, there is an implosion, which means it exploded from inside the submersible. And the debris is located just 1600 feet from the Titanic and consisted of five parts as shown here in the animations. This is the interior of the F-16 fighter jet. On the right side is the stick with all its functions. Interestingly, it moves only a quarter of an inch 
but don't be fooled by its limited motion as it can turn this plane in any direction. Damn. Just like this, if you move the stick left, the aircraft will roll to the left. We create original videos from scratch just like this F-16 fighter jet and how it works. So this was crazy how they managed to make this, these animations within a day of the news coming out. I can't believe you explained it so well in less than eight minutes. I mean, yeah, it's fascinating, right? But... Wait, the comments seem so... Wait, is this all AI In this generated? video, we will look at the basic pro- Was this video AI generated? The Kamikaze is around $40,000. When launched in- Well, no, it was fascinating. I mean, they got into the details, right? And I mean, it just makes you think how wild it actually is. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. If you're someone who has been following this news, yeah, let me know what you're thinking of all this because to me it is crazy. The more I look into it, the more I'm just like, how was this able to happen? A controller. Again, I'm, I'm sure that there was some argument for the controller being a good idea or what, but to me, wild absolutely wild but yeah that's that and this is probably the last thing i'm gonna see on this because it seems like they've figured it all out now and it's just an absolute mess but um yeah until next time peace